speaking about how COVID is impacting people, it's been a mystery to scientists for more than a year and a half now. Why, why do some people who have been infected with the coronavirus recover, yet suffer symptoms of the virus for weeks or even months later? News 8's medical reporter, Dr. Mary Gillis, is here and may have an answer to that question. Well, that answer may be in a new paper published by researchers in Frontiers in Immunology. When a person is infected with a virus, in this case COVID-19, cells that are designed to attack and kill the virus are recruited. They are called cytokines. However, because the coronavirus is so lethal, the body ends up recruiting more cytokines than it needs, causing the body to go into overdrive. Instead of protecting and healing the body, the cytokines end up doing the opposite. It. They end up causing harm in the form of inflammation. In COVID-19 long haulers, this continues even after the body has cleared the virus. I spoke with, with uh, Dr. Ron Muletti, Chief Physician Executive at Community Health Network, who breaks it down. COVID came in and it left. Once it left, it left all this inflammation in the body and the, and the person is just not being able to get rid of the inflammation. So it really becomes a chronic inflammatory disease is what we're thinking in those individuals. So it has actually nothing to do with COVID at that point. It turned on the inflammation and our bodies aren't able to turn that inflammation off anymore in these long haulers. That's what, we're, that's what it looks like. Yaleti likens it to a light switch. The inflammatory light switch is flipped on during a, a coronavirus infection. The body then recruits cytokines to fight the virus. When the virus clears, the light remains on for reasons we don't know yet. The cytokines are still revved up since the person is no longer infected. With the virus, they need something else to attack. What do they attack? A person's body. Yaleti also says an important question that requires further investigation is when will the long hauler's body be able to tune off the immune system that remains in overdrive so that it can reset itself? The best way to avoid becoming a long hauler, he adds, is to get vaccinated. You know, it's interesting to me when Dr. Yaleti starts talking about it being like a light switch that you just can't turn off. Did he expand upon that anymore? Well, this virus is so gosh, infectious, that it attacks the coronavirus, right? Mm -hmm. The immune system attacks the coronavirus, but it's so much on overdrive that mm -hmm. the light is on. And then when the coronavirus is cleared, it's still on overdrive. The light switch is still on and it needs something to attack. It attacks your organs. Uh, Inflammation okay. keeps going. Well, thank Even you Even after that. the virus clears. Yes. Absolutely. Mary, thank you. Thank you.